Hi everyone and welcome to Bloodborne, Blood Devil 4 playthrough. This is Orphan, the last boss of the DLC. Now, uh, this boss fight is really tough guys. This is this might be the toughest boss yet. Uh, and the toughest in the DLC. Now, af after this boss, I'm going to resume the main story bosses. Well, kinda, because we, we still have to defeat Lawrence. Lawrence will come after this sort of like the order that I did the bosses uh, we're gonna have Lawrence next next last like the last boss of the DLC uh, though it's uh, an optional boss and then we're going to have German and after German we're going to have Moon Presence and Moon Presence will be the closure of this playthrough that uh, fills me with fucking joy because uh, I wanted to do a blood level 4 since the game came out. I never had the time, the real time to invest in it. Uh, and even though I lost a lot of save, da save data and I had to redo a lot of bosses again, uh, I'm so fucking proud of this project. Even though it doesn't really matter <laughs> in the grand scheme of things to my uh, subscribers or viewers because it doesn't really do that well comparing to other walkthroughs that I'm doing or or have done I'm so fucking proud of this because in my opinion this is way harder than a soul level 1 of Dark Souls and uh, not a soul level 1 on Dark Souls 2 Scholar uh, a soul level 1 of Scholar of the first scene is probably one of the fucking hardest things that you can do in a video game and it's all for the wrong reasons but I'm not going to talk about this, uh, about that. I'm not going to talk about Scholar because I am going to do something with Scholar that you already know, the the permadeath. So I'm going to highly criticize Scholar. See, that hit me. That's the only attack that I can survive of this guy. If he if hits me with any other attacks, I'm is instantly deceased. So a lot of people have problems with Orphan. And I think this strategy is gonna help a lot of people because if you keep close attention, I'm not actually playing uh, by rolling any of his attacks. I'm pl I'm playing locked on, and and for a lot of people, playing locked on is a lot easier than playing uh, kind of locked on and and not. Uh, or playing uh, definitely not locked on. Like for some so for some bosses, I would recommend playing not locked on at all. Like for example, Parl. Uh, but for Orphan, uh, this strategy that I that I got here is always locked on, even in the second phase. And then we are about to go to the second phase. And a lot of people have trouble especially with the second phase and what I'm going to say might like confuse your mind but I actually prefer the second phase because in the first phase uh, Orphan can actually do a lot of attacks and cancel a, a lot of combos excuse me and cancel mid combo and 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 do another attack like in mid combo he can cancel attacks I have never heard of a boss fight in a video game that can cancel an attack and do another one that you are totally not not expecting him to do and that spells not only highly RNG but spells the fucking word trouble so I kinda like this one because I have not seen I have not seen him uh, cancel any attacks in his second phase and he's more controllable as you can see he jumps around you have to keep mid distance I wouldn't uh, stay close to him see he does this attack which he, he overly goes over your head and you can do a backstab uh, I don't go for the visceral because actually a second R2 is going to give me more damage than a, than a visceral again that uh, attack is 3 hits on the ground and the 4th one is going to go over your head if you move a little towards him. Always, do you see the distance? I think the distance uh, is the most important thing uh, in this battle with Orphan and in the next one with Lo Lawrence is going to be even more important. Like, See the attack? That's the most dangerous attack that he has. 
he attacks twice, he goes around you twice and you have to interrupt him because if not he's going to destroy you uh, in a blood level 4 of course that, like that attack was the most dangerous attack that he had and I had to learn to stop it now he's gonna go over my head and we're gonna do it. I think we kill him? yeah, there we go I'll see you guys on the next video uh, thank you for watching and take care